Got a school that needs an attitude adjustment? Here's what to do. Throw together a bunch of kids that have nothing in common. This is a great way to socialize. Give the process the unlikely name of advisory. Okay. You get to get out of class and make friends. <laughs> then just sit back and watch the culture at your high school change. <laughs> it's really just to connect with other people. Hey, it worked in San Antonio. It was the reason why our school had 100% graduation rate. It was the reason why every single student at that school to this day has a plan, and I attribute it all to advisory. You're all going to speak because I'm so interested in what all you have to say. Beginning also, in 2013, every student at Hendersonville High was randomly assigned to a small group from the same grade. You don't pick the people that you're in the class with, you just kind of put with them. Mara. Here. Luce. These so-called advisory groups now meet for 40 minutes every other week. Now I don't ever get to like see them at all. Like I used to just be like, oh, you know, they're kind of weird, I don't really want to talk to them, or they're different. But now I'm like, well, they have a reason to be that way. It makes me sad to think about. <laughs> The motivation for advisory came from three sources. And I invited a group of students to come speak. First, there was Debbie Sheets' suicide prevention training featuring Hendersonville High's best and brightest. And I specifically invited students that were very high functioning, got good grades. We were all just sort of shocked at what they had gone through. The second motivation was a school climate survey put together by the Tennessee Department of Education. Uh, students um, are telling us that they don't necessarily feel socially and emotionally safe. The third and final motivation came from a look at how kids weather the transition from middle school to high school. That research revealed, like the school climate survey, We have kids that just don't get connected, don't get plugged in anywhere for one reason or another. Of how can we help students to feel safer at school? How can we help them uh, to feel more connected at school? and not knowing anybody or knowing anything. The short answer at Hendersonville High School, advisory. Advisory sort of became an option for us once teachers recognized this. Like once it was brought to our attention, we were like, we have to fix this. That same thing happened with me last year. At advisory, the topic can be just about anything. This week, it's the meaning of home. I know they say you can't go home again. To get things started, a Miranda Lambert song titled The House That Built Me is played over the intercom. In this song, home is very much a physical place. But when the conversation gets up to speed, the students reveal that for them, home is not a building. I never really had a physical like structure that I called my home. I just called my family my home because the home to me is more like a community. I've always moved moved around a lot since I was really really little, so I never really felt like like connected to my house or connected to a place. My home is like really important to me because it's about to get really deep, you guys. Um, my parents are getting a divorce, and so like we may not be able to like keep my house. The discussion can get heavy in advisory. I don't know, I guess she would be like my home. But over time, what matters is not so much what the kids are talking about as the fact they're talking at all. Like he said, like I always moved around with them. And Mr. Brown said that I looked like somebody that would be walking down the hallways and be like, get on my way. And then I guess they kind of realized that I'm actually a really nice person being in the class with me. All right, why is it important to respect the traditions that are before you? All right, guys, good job. It, it gives people, you know, relationships and ways to build relationships with people. It's just like a place where, like, if you don't have someone to, like, vent to or, like, talk about with, you can, and I like it a lot. Sometimes we forget that kids aren't numbers, they aren't charts, they aren't graphs, they aren't data, they're people. When it comes to advisory, What's important is not so much what happens in the classroom as what happens when the students walk out the door. So all of a sudden, this group of kids who I never would have gotten to know became my biggest allies. Kind of my goal is to get where they're outside of advisory and they're sticking up for each other, or helping each other, or even being friends with each other. 